Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with episode number 12 of the AC Milan career mode here on Xbox One. We're starting this one with some gameplay. We are heading into the January transfer window in today's episode though. But the first game is against Livorno away from home. It's actually our game in hand so we can really make some impact on the league table if we're able to pick up three points here. As you can see, we currently sit fifth. If we can win, we can move up to second, just one point behind Juventus. But three points are a must in this game if we really want to be you know, competitive towards the top of the table and get ourselves into those Champions League spots and we got off to a fantastic start I uh, really wasn't expecting anything from that shot from Mario Balotelli to be completely honest I played the ball through to him with that little through ball from uh, from out wide and I just wanted to it was just a hit or hope see if anything happened if we could win a corner fantastic if uh, we were to work the keeper maybe it would come back out and something would come with it then even better but I honestly did not expect a goal to come in that first time hit to kind of even increase the angle that it, the uh, the ball was going at the goalkeeper really should have done better though for me I think he, uh, he could have got down to that if he was, uh, you know, on on point and perhaps reacted a little bit sooner but Mario Balotelli was in behind again great first touch and the goalkeeper definitely did react this time a wonderful save with a wonderful save with his legs as you'll be able to see from the replay goes down really fantastic uh, fantastic save to keep it at 1-0 and keep Livorno in the game and they're going to push forward towards the uh, towards the next uh, few minutes and in fact we're actually going to have to call on our goalkeeper to make a good double save Guita there getting down well and back across from the first save to get down and smother the ball from the second to ensure that we see Stayed in front, but Suleiman Tari is breaking free from the central midfield role, looking for a couple of runners on the on the far side. He's actually going to find Senad Lulic. Lovely first touch and a great finish across the goalkeeper again into that far side bottom corner. And again, you'll see from the replay, it's all about the first touch. There's a great ball across from Suleiman Tari. The first touch sets it up perfectly, and then it's a powerful finish from Lulic. Really impressed with that. And uh, in fact, we were going to make a couple of changes just after the hour mark to try and increase the lead if we possibly could, or at least hold out, which is why I made the defensive change as well, bringing on Abu Dhabi for, for Sully Montari but they had a chance here with a free kick just after we made the subs but fortunately it was straight at the goalkeeper run there there wasn't too much threat there but they were going to come at us again Livorno in behind here with a lovely ball over the top I'm not really too sure how he managed to find himself free behind uh, my defensive line but it's a fantastic strike no rephrase that it was not a fantastic strike it was a fantastic ball over the top but the finish was really really poor but uh, we we're going to go up the other end just 10 minutes from time lovely first touch by Lotus Raps even better second to turn inside and that's the game done and dusted a 3-0 victory away from home at Livorno is very very pleasing indeed exactly what we needed from the team in that uh, in that game and that's going to move us up to second in the table which puts us in a fantastic place heading forward into the second half of the season but of course it's a January transfer window but unfortunately we We've picked up an injury to uh, to Matthias Silvestre, our uh, on loan centre back, and of course Christian Zapata has also picked up an injury in uh, the last couple of episodes, which we covered, which is going to see him out for four months. So unfortunately, I was wanting to strengthen it elsewhere, but it looks like we might have to bring a centre back in and uh, to make any sort of worthwhile changes to the squad. I'm going to have to move a couple of players on if I possibly can. Send players out to raise the funds to bring players in. So Bursa is going to be a player that's looking to go out. Uh, I've put Cristante on the loan list to try and free up some uh, some wage budget. But we're looking at a centre-back, the first of which is Jan Vertonghen. Now, I asked in yesterday's video and on Twitter over the weekend if you guys could give me some of the player names that will be available on a pre-contract. And I've looked into a lot of those guys. And unfortunately... Almost all of them have signed new contracts between the start of the season and the January transfer window, so they're not available on pre-contracts. Also, a couple more have moved in uh, in the earlier summer transfer window, so obviously are on a new contracts with new clubs as well. So unfortunately, we're not really going to be able to take advantage of that unless we can find another couple of players that might to potentially be able to come in on free freeze and pre-contracts towards the uh, towards the end of the the window it's going to be a case of just having a look around getting some new names from you guys in the comments and looking into them scouting them and uh, you know seeing what i can find out but we're putting loads and loads of bids in for uh, for players here uh, sebastian giovinko is another player we could pick up on the cheap as well as um, adam yates from rome he's only valued at 3.8 million which really surprised me considering the potential he has and the fact that he's still already a fantastic player at the only at only the age of 22 but we've put Pelosi in as a make weight for uh, the Hesse, potential Hesse Rodriguez deal and the potential Giovanni Dos Santos deal I bought Pelosi in he has good potential but he's just not found the form for me so far it's been quite disappointing when he has come on and unfortunately I am going to be looking to move him on if I possibly can but before we get any more transfer news we're back to league action we've got Atalanta at home as you can see that win against Livorno did move us up into second in the league and uh, of course if we can win here and and uh, Juventus lose, then we can go top. But at 
at uh, Atalanta were on the front foot from the uh, the opening stages. Maxi Morales, fantastic feat from all of the Atalanta players here, all the way until it came to Bernard Ventura for the strike. And unfortunately, he kind of snatched at it and it uh, it just drifted wide of the far post. But again, Atalanta on the attack, great feet and dribbling from uh, from their forward players once again to get in behind me. The uh, the first ever is going to be well served by Guita, but unfortunately, neither of the two defenders around the ball can react in time and they get the ball into the back of the net with the rebound. So unfortunately, 15 minutes minutes into the game we actually find ourselves 1-0 down so we're towards the end of the first half we're actually going to try and get ourselves back into it if we possibly can because Yuka Honda's going to play a lovely ball through to Sully Montari here and similar to uh, the opening uh, game against Livorno the goalkeeper makes a fantastic reaction save from close range to keep us out but the chance isn't dead yet we've got the corner to come in it's actually going to find its way to Victor Ruiz and uh, after Adil Rami scored a spectacular overhead kick in a uh, game last week Victor Ruiz clearly wanted to, uh, to emulate that and unfortunately wasn't able to do so we push into the stoppage so the end of the first half. Bonaventura is going to strike the bar with a fantastic free kick. Unfortunately, this time, the rebound doesn't go in their favour. It goes at ours. It goes wide. And we bring on Lacazette at half-time, but I didn't bring him on for Balotelli. I brought him on for Kazuki Honda. So Lacazette is now sat behind Balotelli in the 4-2-3-1. So hopefully we can have that injection of pace through the middle, maybe create some extra chances. And that's what we were trying to do at the beginning of the second half. Sully Montari is going to have the strike, and it's just wide of that far post. Really unfortunate not to go into the back of the net there. And we, uh, we came close to getting ourselves back on like, uh, level terms. Lacazette involved again there and Senad Ludic through to Montari who's involved again. Unfortunately the first touch isn't the best and uh, the initial chance goes a begging but he finds Ludic on the edge of the box pulls it back across and it's so close again to going in that far post it just trickles wide of the, uh, of the far side and unfortunately we stay at 1-0 down. So I made another couple of changes with 10 minutes to go. Nigel de Jong and Kaka coming on for El Shraoui and Montalivo to try and freshen things up even more defensively to make sure we didn't concede another one and attacking to try and get that goal that we want and de Jong was in Involved here. Brings the ball down perfectly for, uh, for Abate. He's going to stand it up. Mario Balotelli goes up with a header and unfortunately the goalkeeper is able to dive across to make the save in stoppage time at the end of the first, at the end of the second half. Consili gets across and unfortunately we lose at home against Atalanta. So after picking up a great victory against Livorno, we get a setback and unfortunately it's going to affect our league position. But we, uh, as you can see, the initial offer for Giovanni Dos Santos was rejected. So I'm going to up it to £9 million plus Belosci and we'll have to wait and see whether uh, they see or whether they deem that a, a decent uh, a decent deal to accept. Also, you can see the offer for Sebastian Giovinco of £4 million has been accepted. I really wasn't accept expecting that to be accepted. But he could be a very, very good Rubinio replacement and or a winger if, uh, you know, because we do need a winger. We've got Adol Tarapt, Kazuki Honda, Kaka, who's actually going to go in as a make weight for, uh, for Adam Yeh, actually, I believe, in this deal eventually. I'll wait to uh, do it for Honda, but I can't move him on because he's recently been brought into the team because of the uh, the downloaded squads and the updates etc because he did move in January in real life I can't move him on until the end of the season so Honda's definitely staying to the end of the year regardless but as you can see I said it affected our league position it has done as you can see we've dropped down to third and uh, two of the teams below us Roma and Napoli should they win their games in hand they'll go above us as well so after uh, after being up to second in the chance of going top at the end of the episode we could find ourselves dropping down to fifth so it's so very very tight at the top of Serie A right now but it's still all to play for as we uh, we head through the rest of uh, the month of January. Of course, only two games per episode during a transfer window. So that's all for today. But uh, if you missed the video yesterday, there's a link on screen as an annotation on the right-hand side. And of course, feel free to, uh, to check the channel page as well. If you haven't left the video a like already, please feel free to do so. You guys have been showing the channel some great support recently. And if you aren't subscribed, then there's a link in the description and annotation on screen on the left-hand side. And of course, your usual subscribe button as well. And feel free to follow me on Twitter to have an instant impact on all of my series. I just to uh, to j have some general Twitter bans etc over on uh, the social media sites so uh, at Chesnoy Gaming is the Twitter handle and there's a link to that in the description as well but that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching we'll have a My Player episode out tonight at 9 o'clock so do be sure to check your sub boxes for that but that's all for this afternoon so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later